So you guys, this is uh, Super Comic Guru 9000. I am Christian. I am Corey. And here is our review of Naruto Chapter 541. Okay, the chapter starts with a color page, which has nothing to do with the story, but, well, it's enjoyable to look at. At least half of it. Yeah. <laughs> when I was first reading it, actually, whenever I look at one of the big color spreads, as opposed to reading the manga where you go from uh, right to left, I went ahead and just read it from left to right. So it was really cool, because I just went from 6 to midnight, and then midnight to 6. <laughs> Dangly parts. All right, we continue on from the last chapter, and we get to see the epic confrontation between Raikage, Tsunade, Killer B, and Naruto. And uh, we see here, basically, Killer B is trying to stick up for Naruto. He's basically trying to beg his brother, don't mess with us, please, don't stop us. This is what we have to do. And Raikage is insisting, we can't let you guys through. You're the whole reason this war is actually taking place in the first place. So we kind of jump to everyone's battle scene. You see this page, it's like... Two thirds, everyone, you know, just sitting there, like beaten up from the battle, hanging on during the nighttime. And uh, Naruto's like, I will not stand for me not being out there fighting this war because even if we win, all my friends will be dead. And that is pointless, and I will not stand for it. So Naruto in his nine tails QB mode jumps up, and the Raikage meets him, and he knocks Naruto to the ground. I took it and threw it on the ground. I love hot dogs. So Naruto, you know, he gets hit with this massive punch from the Raikage, and if you've seen him fight before, we know this guy's hardcore. He'll punch right through an Amaterasu and it won't even phase him. And Naruto almost takes the full blunt and he realizes, if I were to get hit by that without blocking, I'd pretty much be screwed. And this goes to show just how powerful the Raikage is and how far Naruto has come in his training with the QB. He's really powerful right now, but even someone like the Raikage could take him out. So Naruto's trying to get help, and of course he goes to Tsunade, who's the Hokage, of course. But unfortunately, Tsunade has pretty much no authority here and lets Naruto know, there's nothing I can do right now. I'm with the Shinobi Alliance. This isn't about Konoha anymore. This is about, basically, the greater good of the Shinobi world. So Naruto can't get away from the Raikage, and the Raikage is pretty much in his face, and he's like, I'm the fastest Shinobi alive. Insert bitch. Okay, so, and then, uh, Naruto and him are kind of just, like, facing off, and then he starts talking crap about Naruto's dad. Like, just like, ah, uh, you know, he was faster than me, but now he's dead, and he failed at changing the world like he said he was, and well... Naruto's like, uh-uh! <laughs> no! No! Hell no! Hell no, Raikage! You got your face on a mountain? You on Mount Ninja more? I don't think so! B! Spin that shit! So after hearing that Naruto's still gonna run away, and he's like, you know whatever, I have absolute faith in my dad, and don't you talk crap about him. Uh, Raikage responds by saying, fine, I'll just kill you then, because that'll mess up the enemy's plans, and uh, pretty much proceeds to attack Naruto, and B is there with his, you know, quarter-transformed hand, like the eight tails, and grabs Raikage's fist, and onto a flash flashback we go. Before the flashback actually begins, there's actually a, a pretty cool segue into it. Uh, like Christian was saying, uh, B was basically blocking the punch with his uh, octopus hand, and he slowly starts transforming it back into his real hand, and him and the Raikage bump fists, and he's basically letting them know, he's like, don't you understand? Can't you read me? Aren't we able to understand each other when we bump fists? And that's when it goes into this really cool flashback. Real quick, though, this is kind of like the uh, Sasuke Naruto thing, like that they can read each other's minds like true warriors when they attack each other head on. So that, it may not be a super parallel, but it's definitely something that's repeating in this uh, series. Long and short, the flashback goes back to uh, the Hidden Cloud Village where they're doing some training with the Raikage and the former Raikage. Uh, we learn that there's actually more significance to the fact that the Raikage's name is A, and then that there's Killer B, who's B, and then there's C. They all work as a team together, and basically what they're trying to do is during this training is they're trying to find the B for the Raikage's A. And they're doing the Lariat training. You remember when they actually took out Kisame together, and they mm -hmm. did the double Lariat and they took his head off? That's actually a signature move from the village. They didn't just pull that off out of nowhere. And uh, they're trying to train with the Raikage to see who can do it. And it's funny because they have all these young Cloud Ninja who are training with the Raikage. And they do the Lariat, and one of them, it doesn't work for them, and they just go flying off. Because they're hitting and, rubber dummies. Mm -hmm. But uh, the person who does, of course, end up being B, of course, is Killer B. And this is interesting because in this chapter, we actually learn that they're actually brothers in uh, a spiritual nature, not in a biological nature. They're not actually biological brothers. 
Mm -hmm. And this is a pretty interesting revelation, and honestly, it shocks me a little bit, and it was probably the, uh, the best part of the chapter for me. It was a cool flashback because it was something we haven't seen, and it's a revelation about Killer B, and that's where the chapter comes to a close. Yeah, the chapter ends with uh, B and Rekage bumping fists and say, from now on, you will be my brother, and you will be my B to my A. And that is Naruto chapter 541. Okay, so Naruto chapter 541. It was good. Yeah. Uh, I liked it. Uh, there was some good action, not much, but and then there was also some good flashbacks, which, you know, the uh, Raikage B non-biological brother thing is interesting. And uh, maybe we'll get a little more about that next week. Uh, who knows? I mean, it's still, with this war, it's hard to tell where they're going to go with next week. So it's kind of all over the place. Yeah, best thing I liked about this chapter, I've said this before on some uh, previous chapters, uh, when I read this, it felt like I was reading Naruto, and that's what I liked about it. I like that Naruto is finally taking forefront in the story lately. Um, I like that we got a little update on the battlefield as well. We got to see some of those characters. I even got a cool little panel of Rock Lee. Um, you know, this chapter was great. It gave us uh, side characters. It gave us some um, forward of the story with Naruto. It gave us a cool flashback, and it even had a really great uh, color page at the beginning. Yeah. Particularly with Hinata in a hot tub. She's packing. So, for a rating on this week, we are going to give it a 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. So that's a pretty fair rating, I think, for this one. It's a good chapter. I mean, you know, maybe fighting doesn't always equal good chapters. And so, I mean, just the development in this and the uh, seeing that Naruto is just as fast or just a little under what Raikage is shows how fast he actually is. And uh, I'm waiting to see how Talk no Jutsu ends up saving the day in the next chapter. All right, question for this week is kind of interesting, and, and that's just because we honestly have no idea where this manga is going to go right now. And that's why I love reading Naruto, and I want to hear what you guys think. I want to know what you think is going to happen next in the story. Are they going to continue with the flashbacks? Are they going to go back to the battlefield? Are they going to let us know what the villains are up to? Just let us know with a comment below. So until next time, you guys, Super Kami Guru 9000, out.